Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Extinction, where today I kind of want to tame a scout, but it, it, it sounds very easy, but I don't think it will be, because when you shoot it with a bow, it puts up a shield, which I think limits damage to pretty much one, and um, uh, what are they called? Spears. Spears break instantly when you hit them with it. So the only real way to do it is either Stego, or I get myself a flying mount, which isn't going to happen because, or unless, no, because Pterodon might, no, because I don't, I don't need to fly Pterodon, do I? I just need Pterodon to attack it. Maybe, maybe it's going to be easier than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, also my hair's been cut very short, so that, there's that. But maybe it's not going to, because I, I was thinking I'd have to ride Pterodon, but I don't necessarily have to. As long as Pterodon can attack it, it should work. But there is obviously a problem with that as well, is that scouts mark you. So like, as in if there's a defender or an enforcer nearby, it'll mark, mark you as a target and they'll come over and kill you. And if that happens, we may lose Pterodon and Stego, which won't, won't really be great, will it? Although, saying that, if they're low levels, we might be able to kill it like this one. Which I didn't know this is how it works. You only get it... I guess that's what... It, Crafts, ma crafts remaining means is you only have one attempt at it. I say one attempt, one, one make, pretty much. But yeah, I, I guess I don't actually know what level it was. It might have been level twenty. It might have been a bit lower. I wasn't really paying too much attention because I kind of attacked it by accident. Uh, but yeah, we we did manage to kill it, so that was good. Now, after we've done that, because I'm going to attempt this first. Now that I've worked out, Toadon might be able to um kill it. Now that once we've done that, we'll upgrade to what's it called, metal, because that will help us quite a lot. Especially a crossbow. I think a crossbow would be quite nice to tame things. Right. Oh, there's an enforcer over there. I don't know if that's close enough. Is that... Will it attack me? What if I just attack it, but don't let my dinos come over yet? I think that's a good idea. Well, I say, I say that. First, I have to hit it. Watch this. Watch it. Are you ready? Oh, that was... Okay, this could take a while. Much, much, much later. Yes, we did it! Finally! Right, now... Enforcer? No, I don't think so. Okay, come over this way. Oh, where, do you, where are you off to? Yeah. By themselves, scouts aren't really that strong. But yeah, look, you see, it did one damage. One. Literally one damage. Right, now, if I just sort of whistle... Attack my target. And then do that. Okay, turn it on. Let's try this again. If I whistle attack my target, where'd it go? There we go. There we are. And then do that. Okay. Plan B. Stego. Wait, where, where's it? Right. Now, you see, it's not going to be low enough. Come on. No, it's not good. It's not good. You see, it's not going to work. No, maybe it is. Is that just doing one damage? How did I hit it there? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain, but how did I hit that? What level was it? Level... Oh, no. Yeah, you see, again, I'm... Oh, level... No. Drop by Stego level 34. But what level was it? I don't know. I don't... Unless it was level 20. But there we go. Scout. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Got the electronics. 56 element dust. Do I have 56 element dust is the question. Not quite sure I do. 22. No, I don't. I will take it though, take that, what else? We need some metal, which I can collect in a minute, and crystal, which isn't too difficult to get in this, I don't think, because I've seen, I'm certain, I mean, there's a crystal vein right there. So yeah, crystal will be easy. Element dust might be a bit of a challenge, depending on how I collect it, because the only way I know so far is by killing the uh, robot things. So hopefully there's another way, an easier way, ideally. But if not, we may have to try and find some low-level enforcers. Or defenders, whichever whichever comes first. Has Ark always done this? Because oh, I just noticed it now. It du it dulls the sound, doesn't it? As in, when you're underwater, it dull it dulls the sound. Yeah, it does. That's really cool. I've never noticed that. Okay, so element dust might actually be a lot easier than I thought because apparently you can mine these. There we go. That's really easy. It doesn't give you loads. But I think you can mine pretty much any lamppost. Hang on, what is it? Lamppost? Uh, tables, benches, those sorts of structures. So hopefully we can find a couple of them. There's another lamppost. Lovely. Another one over there. Yeah, that should be. A, it, this should be quite easy to get. And it gives you crystals. I don't actually have to mine any 
of the what's it calls. Although, hang on, is there a, a thingy in here quickly? Or one of them terminals? Because I'm going to go and put all the stuff in. Because I'm sort of running out of weight and it's going to take a while. Here we go, we should have enough now. So if we just put this scrap metal and metal in. Yep, so one scout coming up. Oh, that's the blueprint. Okay, hang on. One scout coming up now. Right. Now, as it turns out, on the lampposts and stuff, if you use your axe, you can also get electronics and... Or at least I think it's your axe. You can get electronics and scrap metal. And I'm not sure which, which way is better. As in, if you use your axe or your pickaxe, I'm not sure which one you get more of. But I think... I think... This is just thinking. So it could be wrong. could be very wrong. But I think if you use your pickaxe, you get more dust and crystal. So that's good to know. Now, here we go. I also realise these two are different as well, by the way. So, this one has 3 shield, 90 energy, 7, whatever that is. This one has 3, 100, 8. It's a little bit faster and it's got more, more range. So, that's good. Now, let's take this. I might need some dust to charge it. I'm not sure what that means there where it says 8 energy per element dust. So, I may need some dust to charge it. But, what we're going to do now is be quite smart I think and we're going to use this drone to find some metal ores so that we can get the rest of the like the crossbow and the well I've already got a hatchet because we got that from a, a t-rex I think we didn't kill it by the way we, it just died so yeah we're going to find some more ores with our oh, 20 element dust hang on yeah we're going to find some more ore get a pickaxe get a probably a pike unless we can find enough for a sword and a crossbow and also we managed to get to level 38, so that means we have other Pterodon saddle. There it is, 75 chitin, 120, I think we've got the fibre. Definitely don't have the hide, definitely don't have the chitin, but it shouldn't be too difficult to get, because I think there's a lot of tortoise, or whatever they're called, roaming around. And hide, I'm just going to do the thing where I use bowlers to trap the parasaurs and kill them. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's just take all of it, honestly. Right, and then we throw it. Yeah, here we go. It is literally like a drone. <laughs> this is so cool. So you've got... Oh, so can I... Wait, what's this timer? Is that a timer in the bottom corner? So I can mark them like this. Oh, that's a little boost if you um, right-click. Oh, wait. It doesn't even let me go that far at all. I thought it would let me go way further. So does C do anything? C lowers it. But, I mean, it's pretty cool because, look. Normally, I wouldn't be able to see that enforcer. Oh, that's a... I, I got... I was really confused. I, I was like, what's this? What's this? And it's me. Oh, look. Yeah, and look, that's a red one. So what's that? I don't know if I'll be able to see it, because I think I'm going to go out of operational range. Yeah, but I'm guessing that is an enemy. That's really cool. Let's see if we can actually find an enemy closer. That's a scout. I was wondering what that one was there for a second. Come on, let's see what enemies look like properly. I mean, other than very scary and a lot of teeth, usually. Oh, there we go. Look. So, I mean, the Enforcer is now counting as an enemy for some reason. Unless it's just aggressive. Unless, yeah, because now it's gone back to blue. So maybe it only tags aggressive things as red. Or what does it tag green, though? What's this green stuff? Oh, they're, they're, I'm guessing they're mine. Yeah, that would make sense. There's me. There's another dinosaur over there. This is actually really cool. I really like this. I wonder what... No, I was going to say, I doubt you can use anything like... Well, I'm guessing you might be able to ride the Enforcer, but I doubt it would be this cool. This is insane. The only problem is you can't really use it as I thought you could by marking metal rocks. I mean, you can see that's crystal quite clearly, but... Are the rocks all just kind of look the same? Unless we just haven't seen any metal rocks. That could be a thing. Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll go and find the turret. I say find. We'll go and make the turret on saddle. There's a turtle there, actually. I'll mark that whilst I'm on. Let me mark it. Unless there's a thing in the way. Right, that'll do. Also, it does. the scout does have some other things it can do, which I've completely forgotten, so I'll look that up, and then I'll tell you them in a minute. Right, it uses quite a lot of element just to, um, to fly around with. That's that's probably something to note. Although, saying that, it is... Like, obviously, harvesting tables and stuff isn't the best way. Apparently, it's through defenders, but I can't really harvest defenders until I've got a decent... I'd imagine Rex, realistically. Oh, but... Does my scout ever go? Or does it just sort of stay there? Does it even follow me? Oh, it does follow me. That's good. I think. Does it follow me? It's not following me. It's definitely... Yeah, no. Apparently, Scout is... Oh, no. Oh, right. Okay. I've no idea what that just did, but th that works too. Right, so yeah. Let's go and... um. 
Let's go and do what I said before that I've completely forgotten what I was gonna... Oh yeah, turret on saddle, that's it. A few moments later. Found a monkey. I was running away. Oh no. Right, okay. I'm gonna follow this monkey and try and tame it, because it's cool. Yes, we got it. Awesome, we got a pet monkey. I don't know, I honestly can't remember what these actually do, but they're just cool, aren't they? I mean, look at it. Just sits on your shoulder and chills. Wait a second. Is the monkey attacking it? It is. I swear, I swear it's throwing poo at this dead turtle. I mean, it's not it's, it's not doing much, but every little helps, monkey. Every little helps. Whoa, that is one big fish. That's enormous. Look at the size of it. It must be bigger than me. That is absolutely... That is... That's just mad. That's crazy. There we go, just about enough to get ourselves a pterodon saddle. So, if you come over here, please pterodon. Because it's going to take about seven years for me to get there, because it's crafting. I hate, I hate the fact that it makes you walk slower. Really irritating. There we go. Give you that. Now, the question is... I can, well, I can't upgrade its speed, so I might as well put a bit into stamina. And then a little bit into weight, because if I'm too heavy, it makes it go really slow. That should be all right. Change camera angle. There we go. Oh, this is actually so refreshing because I haven't been able to fly anywhere in an entire season, I think. I mean, and even saying that, Scorched Earth was only really Argentavis, and that wasn't until a bit later on in the game. So this is actually so nice to have. If we just land. And I think, actually, I did see a, a thingy over here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is, a metal crystal crystal. It's not a crystal, it's a, a rock. No, pterodon, pterodon, no. Ah, no. <laughs> Why are you attack? Oh yeah, because defenders attack your mounts, don't they? Which is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's, let's see if we can't lure it away and attack something else. Come on, you just come this way and then I'll, I'll mine that rock, hopefully get enough for at least a pickaxe and a crossbow and might wrap it up because it's been an hour and about 40 so I think the video is probably going to be long enough. Oh, is that, that's a, I think that's a megalosaur. I think it's a sleeping megalosaur. It is. Look at that. I mean, I don't know how useful they're going to be on this because I think they're going to be sleeping quite a lot. Isn't it funny though? How that megalosaur actually looks kind of cute now that it's not trying to claw my oh bugs now that it's not trying to claw my face out. It's actually quite cute. Hello, megalosaur. Don't eat me, please. Here we go then. So if we make this, this, and then for the time being, we're going to make a pike just to make things a little bit easier for us before we can get the sword. And I think that's going to do it because my back is literally in agony. So I kind of want to go and lie down. We have got ourselves our pterodon mount, which is unbelievably nice. We've got ourselves a scout, which is very useful. Oh, that's that reminds me. I didn't do the thing. I was meant to... Yeah, no. Hang on. I'm going to have a look to see what, sc what our scouts can do, because I'm certain it said they can do some cool things. So I will just quickly look that up. Yeah, here we go. So it's rolls, whatever that means. Danger seeker. The scout can scan for hidden, all hidden nearby enemies. So that's basically what we already did. Uh, mech healer. When hovering near a mech, the scout will rapidly heal it. An aggro... Oh, no, there's more. Aggro master. Scouts are notably cheap, capable of flight, even inside caves. Uh, controlled with precision. They don't... Um, they don't grab aggro. I think I think that's basically the, um, the sort of gist of this one. It's quite a big paragraph, but I think that's more or less what it's getting at. They don't grab any um, dino aggro. And scouting. So the, move, the moment a player gets too close... Gets close to an element vein is triggered and have to be completed or abandoned. However, the scout will not trigger the element vein. I don't know what an element vein is, but that sounds relatively important. So that might be something to work to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, that is... Oh yeah, actually no, that is not everything I want to mention. It's not really anything too important, but as you can see, I did do a bit to the house, but not a crazy amount. And that... That is, I'm pretty sure, everything I want to mention. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.